Music, ambiance, intensity. How do you do your music? Hey, how are you? Come sit. Let's have a chat about music and setting the tone of ambiance at your table. Ah, no, I will not be talking and accent this whole video and have music playing in the background. But how to do voices, that's a whole nother video. Let me know if y'all wanna see that and let me know down in the comments how you guys run music and some of the different ways that you might not hear in this video. But this video is talking about and solving the problem of how the heck do you run music off in your games. It is a problem that I had and had wrestled with for years and now that I have this platform that I have on YouTube and knowing some tricks and stuff and being able to do some editing magic, I have the one single big time solution to rule them all. Or at least what I use for my games and I would love to see down in the comments and what we can see and talk with each other. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the problems I ran into in the journey of trying to find the best way to run off music and try and set the tone at my tables but not have to feel like I'm a DJ so that I can keep my mental load focused on the actual game. And then we're gonna talk about the two solutions I have for you with one basic solution and then a second advanced solution that we're gonna talk about as well if you really wanna take it to the next level. But the biggest thing I'm trying to do here is help you guys with your game prep. That's what I do every single month on Patreon and that's what I'm doing right here. I'm gonna have more videos is coming out soon about the helping you guys take off some of the burden of prep for dungeon masters and all you got to do is get one playlist which i'm about to share with you right now and you're set which brings me to the first thing of the problems i ran into when i tried to do this i would search on youtube for different i'd use keywords like ambiance or epic battle music or villain boss battle, all these different words and i would get a lot of great music i'd run into two main problems one is it was too short it was too short of a song and then i wouldn't i'd have to play it and then it would only last for like two minutes and then I'd have to play it again. Solution to that, and just in case you didn't know, it's on YouTube you can right click and loop the video and you can keep the video looping over and over again. But there's still a problem there because at the beginning of these videos usually has like a little bit of a delay. You press play and then the music picks up and at the end and that just that's a mood killer the whole purpose of music is to set the tone and ambiance and then those two little moments of silence especially if it's in the middle of a combat thing and you had this epic combat and then it stops and there's like three four seconds of just I, I couldn't do it don't worry i have the solution for it but the second problem is especially if you are a content creator or streamer you want to just put, put these music out there in some way i can't play certain music certain music has copyrights and all this other kind of stuff so I have made a playlist of copyright free music that you can use in your games. If you want to stream games, you want to play, record games, do whatever you want. Uh, so fellow content creators out there, I got you, don't worry. But uh, you do have to cite in the, in the description. So if you go to the description of the, the, the playlist I'm sharing with you guys, uh, in each of those videos, in the bottom of the description or whatever, it has how you need to cite them and cite your sources so that you can actually use the music, just as a disclaimer. But if you are playing home games or online or whatever on your own, none of that matters. And here is the playlist. So here it is, here's the solution you've all been waiting for and might not have known you've been waiting for. So what I've done here is a couple of things because don't just run away right now. The playlist is available to you, but I do have a bunch of tips and tricks for you to how to use it and maybe even add it to it and make it your own. So this ambiance, Dungeon Coach TTRPG ambiance is what I use every single game session I ever play of any game that I'm playing to try and set the tone. All it is is eight eight different soundtracks of music across eight different mood spectrums in the game to be able to hit whatever type of tone that I'm wanting to hit. I used to try and do some sort of ambiance with like uh, 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 forests and waterfalls and cave drops and that, I'll save that for the for the, the second advanced system. This is the most basic, the most simple. You just press and go, zero prep required. You just have this playlist, favorite it, save it, etc., and you're good to go. Whenever you pull it, you pull up your browser and there it is on your favorites and you, that's as much as you have to think about. And you can have it open like this, and uh, on my laptop uh, that I have on my Dungeon Master screen, I have this open, and I can just literally click around and click to whatever video, and it instantly pops there. And if you haven't noticed already, you can see each of these videos are three hours long, and right when you click it, it starts going into it right away. There's not a single bit of dead space on the ends, which doesn't even matter also, because it's three hours long on purpose to make sure that you can play this on loop, and you're not gonna have to worry about it stopping, right? I don't even usually forget I forget usually to try and put it on loop or something because usually I have to click the video right click it loop I don't have time for all that I just want to press it 
and go. So as long as you're pressing it once every three hours or so and it's just changing music, then you're good. And if you do want to stay to just one set of music the whole session, you could totally do that. A lot of these top four, you could totally have for an entire session uh, and just right click, press loop and you're good to go. But if you also notice, I have named these based on the mood or vibe that's going on at the table. Cheery and light, that's the, the thing I played for y'all earlier. Adventure and courage, so it's upbeat kind of thing like that. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little snippets of each. There we go, we're into the playlist. This playlist is also, by the way, over on my second channel, Dungeon Coach Plays. I play Curse of Strahd on there. On Patreon, I post the footage from my live home games, and on Dungeon Coach Plays, I do breakdown videos of each every session behind the scenes. But back to the music, here we go. Cheery and light. This is super simple. If you're around a tavern, you walk into a, a town. You don't have to be in a tavern. It's just nice and gentle music. You don't, Nobody's like playing a harp in the background. And you can just enter into a town, no big deal. You're traveling from one place to another, whatever. And I have also moved things along here and have uh, each of these progression from lightest to most intense. And I've also structured them in the playlist in that order for that flow type reason. And let's go to the next one, Adventure and Courage. Oh, they see. It's a little bit more bold and it's a little bit less lighthearted and it's like you're about to go or you're on your way off to the adventure or things are starting to get a little bit dangerous or maybe having a more serious conversation right so i just really like it's nothing too intense you could play this throughout the entire i usually have this playing uh, whenever I, I do my recaps at the beginning of the session or just kind of it's nice music to have to just not have absolute silence This is probably my default uh, Of all of these right and then we get a little bit more ominous and sneaky This one's you're maybe sneaking around somewhere you're kind of going you're there you're infiltrating a castle You're in a cave exploring somewhere overall I would say this music is kind of what I use whenever I have I, the players don't know if things are good or bad or they're entering into an abandoned Looking around and then let's get a little worse here with uneasy and unknown now things are getting a little bit worse I'm more paranoid Wait a second. What was that? This is overall uneasy music, and I would even say this too, my players know my soundtracks a little bit as well too, and because I only have eight, I think that's an advantage. If you wanna add more to this, by all means, you can add to this playlist. Take these and add these little videos onto your own playlist, and you can make your own from it. But I think this adds a little bit of, of this drama to where people know, like, oh, wait a second, like, what, what's going on? And usually, I don't lead with the music. They can know that the setting's kinda of going south, and then the music kicks in, or you can do whatever you want with your, with your mastermind. And these next four now are definitely an increasing intensity. I use these for skill challenges, combats, uh, or, or any sort of like battle sort of type of thing that's in, in, right before a combat maybe. It's nothing crazy. Setting the tone, right? And then one notch higher, high tension and pressure. And it starts to pick up a little bit. And I, I usually use this in uneasy times where some like things are coming out of nowhere. Like, oh. And then things start to kick in. Nothing too crazy. And this is again in the background. I don't have this music playing very high in general. Definitely a little tension though. And then, now for more consistent tension. This was the music I played in the beginning. Villain speeches, this is great for. Things building up, dropping, right? Ominous things, speeches you give with pauses so that you can hear the music. Things that aren't a full-blown combat, but it's definitely tense. And then speaking of combat, the combat you all know and love. Critical Role, use this, all that kind of stuff. This is, again, as long as you cite the references and stuff, you can totally use this. Um, this is very simple, generic combat. I have it playing low in the background. Uh, it, it keeps, it has that, that high, fast pace attention to combat I want. I am probably also, and, and, and this has the it has the, it has all those things in there. Uh, and it, you can, there it is. That's not that one, but you get the idea. Uh, that is all the different types of stuff that you can use 
with these eight. I probably could see myself adding one more combat um, a thing in there. So state in this playlist, I will be updating it over time. So whenever you're seeing this video, it, it might already be in there. Um, but I, I will keep updating this and maybe adding to it and polishing it off and things like that um, over time because I definitely do want to have you know, two, two different combat things I think would be good. Something that's not as um, uh, repetitive as that combat, especially if you're in combat a lot. Having that one soundtrack would get a bit much, so I am gonna add in another one of those. Time out. We're talking about bringing players in and immersing them at the experience in the game table and the experience in the world that you're creating for them. So, perfect sponsor for this video is World Anvil. Music sets the tone for the table, but with World Anvil, you can set the tone for your world and bring players into your world with a whole bunch of different tools that they just keep adding more of. World Anvil was literally built for this, built for world building, game design, being able to share things with your players, or if you don't want to share anything with your players, they have a ton of tools for Dungeon Masters to help you organize your world. Maps of the geography of your world, timelines for the history of your world. World Anvil lets you lay out your world in a clean, organized way that you yourself can be able to navigate and move around. And I would recommend to share part of your world with your players so they can be brought into it too and they can see the different things, different hand Handouts that they got, different magic items maybe that they collected on their adventure. Art, handouts, pictures, maps, all those different types of things that you want your players to see, put it in that spot and show it to them. Maybe even put this playlist in your World Anvil so you can share it with your players so they, if they're playing online at home, they can play the playlist for themselves at home and have their own ambiance. But really, before World Anvil, I had all of my Dungeon Master stuff in my own head and I only showed things to players while we were playing. But now that I see the cool advantages of bringing your players into this world, I have a whole little document that I share with my players and they can see all the cool stuff that's happening week to week. So in the spirit of setting the tone for your world, whether it be with music or with World Anvil, thank you World Anvil for sponsoring this video. All right, now back to the music for some more tips here, y'all. So this is the playlist. Again, this playlist is linked down in the description, very top of the description. You'll go over the playlist, you can see it, boom, save it, favorite it, all that good stuff. Uh, bookmark it. So whenever you have it up here, go up to the top right hand corner and you can and put it on a bookmark, put it on a favorite and you, you can have it up here for you, right? And then once it is up here, you can just click on it and then you'll bring you to this and then what I do another little thing that I do here is I have it in this little windowed little thing like this right here right and then I, I, I go down here and I whatever things I know that I need I might queue it up so down here I'll scroll and I'll be like uh I want to start off with the adventure courage I hold down control on my keyboard and then I left click it and you see it opens a new tab menu maybe you didn't know that about computers but <laughs> in general if you ever want to open up a new tab without moving the, the current tab you're on in any web browser, you can hold down control and left click and it opens up a new tab. So anyway, uh, I know I'm gonna have this adventure and then the, they're gonna go into a combat and that combat's probably gonna take the whole session. So I'll do the combat, I hold down control. Now I can X out this one. And now keep in mind when you first go to these, the, it starts playing. So I'm gonna go to the start playing. Whoa, stop playing. And now I'm set for my session because I know whenever I start giving my intro, I'm going to play this and then we're going to go and this is going to be playing and then something's going to happen. I'm going to scrap a combat and then everybody roll for initiative. And then bum, 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 it starts going, right? So anyway, um, this now is I'm good to go and I'm set up. And if I do want to change the music, it's all right here and, and you can easily change it. Oh, things got a little creepy. All right. So enter into the cave. You know what I'm saying? And it's all there. It's all super simple. And if you want to, I would also say you could do this. So now I'm going to show you something advanced that you can do if you want to take it to the next level here, right? So let's go to YouTube here and go to Dungeon Coach and subscribe to the... <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. Okay, um, go to go to open up another browser up here, and then you can type in. Uh, I just had this happen where my players had. A, I knew there was going to be a combat that happened near a waterfall, so I typed in waterfall ambiance. There we go, and you're going to find something very quick. There it is. Okay, great. Uh, Ten hours of waterfall music. Let's see what it sounds like. Good enough. So I'm going to have the waterfall music right here. I'm going to play it real low. And I'm gonna have it right there. And then I know I have my combat music right here. So I'm gonna describe, here's how it probably would look. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be down here in, in my adventure mode thing. You can hear this, hear this now going. You guys water pass, and then you walk past the waterfall. You hear the water rushing down, rushing down the thing. And I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of doing this as I'm describing, just simply clicking off to the side. But then now you can kind of change the tone a little bit. As you see this happening, you start to describe some weird creatures that you see. There's creatures. You still have the waterfall music playing. And you have these creatures over the top. They peer over, they peer over, they see you, they make eyes with you, and they start to go, and they, their fangs come out, and they start to lunge and rush towards you. Everybody roll for initiative, right? 
and then you kick in the music. And there's still waterfall playing in the background, right? Um, so you can do these things and mix and match these types of things as best as much or as little as you want. I've done this before with uh, in Curse of Strahd. There was uh, on the other side of a door. There was like it sounded like there was a party going on. So I, I, I looked up like ballroom medieval party music and I had that on there and I, I I had it queued up in one of these little tabs and then the party walked over there and then I started to describe like on the other side of the door. I press play. You start to hear this music. There's a ballroom on the other side of the door. And then I have my mouse, a finger, my, my thumb on spacebar, because if you press spacebar, it stops the music. Uh, another computer little hack there. Um, and then I just have my thumb on the spacebar, and then they, as soon as they said they opened the door, they go, all right, I opened the door. I was like, you swing the door open, and I killed the music. It's an empty room. What's, and then, then uh, wait a second, so that was an illusion, that was ghosts, and it was like this haunted thing going on. So you can use music in those advanced ways. So the most basic thing is use the playlist. Use the playlist, there you go, it's done. You have those eight songs plus one more I'm gonna add in there, done, you're good. Just have simple music. You don't have to have the, it be literal ambiance. I tried that for years of like, okay, where are they gonna go? They're going to haunted house. Okay, so look up haunted house music and it's like, <laughs> You know, you can do that, you can do that, but I just think it's a little bit more simple, especially for prep, especially for the DJ feelings around, uh, and it's just use the music, play the music, you're fine. If you want to go above and beyond in certain situations, cool, find that haunted house creepy music, have that playing in the background the whole time, sure. And maybe that change of pace is gonna help you change up your player's experience as well. And for all you people that play online, because I know there's a ton of you guys, I am starting to do the transition into getting online myself as well. I'm playing patron games every single month. I do a patron one-shots of DC20 RPG and D&D 5th &D, uh, edition. I'm doing online one-shots. I'm going to start to play with some friends online. I'm going to be recording games online. I'm, I'm doing a bunch of stuff online. And in that process, I'm going to find the best ways that I can do online play. Right now, I play on Roll20, and they have a decent enough of a jukebox where I can press play, and it's some sort of combat music. Fine, right? I, I am looking into more of that. I have an idea for a Discord bot that plays music, which will be a part of my Discord server and channel, so you can check that out uh, if you want to if you want to check that out by the time that you see this video we'll see I'm gonna expand and explore on music in my journey as well but this is just the little pit stop I wanted to take and give you guys hopefully a very big and good tool to be able to use also side note if you didn't know this on YouTube you can create your own playlist even if you don't have a YouTube channel you can take the video take the, the the clips or whichever chunks that you like for mine and go find others online and you can make your own and then you can go and, and organize it and sort it in whatever way you want that makes the most sense to you but I hope this helped I hope you liked the video and if you do uh, let me know because I really am trying to make more videos that are just more widely applicable and valuable out there for you guys I try and make a cycle I do a video on DC 20 RPG the new tabletop roleplay game that I'm creating I do a video about some sort of homebrew rules because that's you know kind of what you guys know me for in a lot of ways I do dungeon master tips and I'm trying to do this one as a dungeon master tip and a tool to give back to you guys so stay creative think outside the music box huh well <laughs> that one just came to me <laughs> peace